Let's look at pyramids they won't teach at school. I visited Egypt, Mexico, and Ireland for pyramids and mounds, yet this tiny country has excavated at least 50. In theory, Belice means the way to Itza, which is in Mexico. I've collated pyramids over decades, so can say Wiki's collection is terrible. I was going to start alphabetically, but there is too many fakes. Separating the wheat from the chaff. Australia has no real pyramids. Gimpy was a fraud, unfortunately. You can read all about that here. The Decades of Lies. Ball's Pyramid is a collapsed volcanic seacone, so isn't the kind of pyramid we're looking for. Neither is this at Balandian, but it would be a beautiful addition to anyone's garden. Likewise, the four pyramids listed in Canada are just modern engineering structures. So back to Belize. I'll try not to duplicate the same pyramid like this one being the first. Others have the same design, so it's hard. Wiki will give you a total of two pyramids, but very well-researched maps show multiple pyramids within complexes. From this master historian, who set up the Mayan Ruins website for explorers to chip in their pics. Why not like and sub us both if you want more? Lamanai has some pyramids lurking in the shadows. Stellas are the common stone pillars with the Mayan glyphs. It depends whether the tropical canopy is cut back. These faces preserve the real stone behind them. A little taller, Jaguar Temple catching the sun. These were all just hills 100 years ago, sometimes never even investigated. A special Masonic and Hindu height number for a long cubit. These are just two complexes, Lamenai and Caracol. But Caracol redefines what is a city, as 177 km squared is bigger than the current capital of Belite. Pyramids often face each other around a plaza. I can probably see more pyramids from their model, but I'm just showing what pictures were easy to sample. Note that ziggurat style are pyramids too. Some pictures are kept small to fit more in one shot, and to show the effort of the historian's write-up. Having 70 chambers to one building is not unusual for the Americas that have underground tunnel connections too. Caracol is a modern Spanish name for the winding snail-like access road. Coincidentally, shells were sacrificed. A third complex clearly shows four pyramids in one shot, but there are always more. 16 meter height is quite common at Altun Ha and others. Their bank stores the real jade head and Google Earth will show new pyramids dug out. Cajal Pech is shown by another international helper. Sometimes maps have to come from other languages. The trees race to have a competitive edge for sunlight and were likely planted by perching birds. As with the rest of the archaeological world, not enough people to clean up one to three thousand years of build-up. Mayans loved their symmetricality and wide steps. Plenty of jewellery and ornaments have been found. Double pyramids with a different style, like good neighbourhoods with unique tastes. Thus ends the seven here as the rain rolls high. Now lawn maintenance is an issue. Notice no fear of trees destroying reparations. Cerros also has seven. Many start looking this way, looking like a muddy pile of stones but a semblance of a mound. These are actually the same after than before, meaning the faces were protected by pasted rock rather than trees. 176 features when counting every monolith, tomb or deep stairway. The top point hold most of the extant pyramids. Not an easy task to build such a heavy monument up such a height, but it beats starting from the bottom just to build a giant masterpiece. Lobarantum, infamous for its Mitchell Hedges crystal skull forgery, does at least have parallel stones subsiding in the middle. This is actually the same two pyramids, but the copper-like trees above are curious as the winged cloud in the previous picture. So straight into the saddest five remaining at Santa Rita Corotal, the rest picked apart and even bulldozed, a total disregard for this land's known ancestors. At least some early artists made a replica of the murals that have all been obliterated from here, but at least some remain at all. Such a tall pyramid is mentioned here, but I doubt this is the tall one. Technically, Nimli Punit is a pyramid complex, but there's not even a photographic proof of one 11 meter terrace that looks high enough, nor on wiki. But an image search seems to reward with three in one shot, with thatch protecting Stella from modern destruction. The last complex found so far. 
Hunan Tonic as usual groups together, pyramidal sites. Just in seven square kilometers, they look like this, compact yet grand, ball courts as standard. This is an example A11, which looks like a whitewashed example of the following. A13, same form, but not an issue of polluting or flaking paint if the structure number is constant. The website, although of greatly compressed quality, helped disseminate which pyramids are which. From non grass to well-kept, behind the tropical palm seems to be a rare complete pyramid apex. Triple pyramids aligned together, plus a turfed mound looking more like Irish Noth or Newgrange winter solstice mounds. The very top not excavated yet, it must be hard enough trimming the area like a golf course. Three pyramids in shot. Finally, the beautifully carved horizon. There are super high definition pictures out there, but it's great to have people in shot to show relative scale. So that's 50 shown from Belite on the east of this map. There are hundreds more to explore. When averaging seven pyramids per complex, you can imagine how many are adjacent in Honduras, El Salvador, and especially in Guatemala. Belize may well be the way for the shamans to speak to the gods at this astronomically observed peninsula of the Deers. What of the great tribes to the west, across thousands of miles of Mexico for jade trinkets, masks, and chest plates? So imagine at least 420 more in Mexico alone, and ask yourself, why were we taught just about Giza?